What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon, good early evening. It's the Earthmaster here with a quick update on an earthquake coming in here to Texas. Pretty strong one, 5.3 earthquake. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the map. Stand by for just a second while I pull this up. 5.3 listed by the US GS. GS. Uh, also notice that signature is showing up pretty nicely across some of these seismograph stations, including Southern California. So uh, looks like this may hold as a 5.3, possibly bigger. We'll definitely check this out. So right now, outside of Midland, northeast of Odessa, Texas, 5.3 coming in at five kilometers deep, very shallow earthquake here. And no doubt, I'm sure a lot of folks did report filling this earthquake. Uh, nothing showing up yet though, it just came in. So this will no doubt uh, be uh, produced here pretty soon far as the did you fill it reports, but 5.3, it has been reviewed. And let's see exactly where this is at far as the satellite view, very close to Midland. Uh, so no doubt uh, those folks felt it out there around that region. So the satellite view, I'm kind of curious. Oh man, oh man, oh man. All right, guys, <laughs> no surprise here, but this earthquake here, and I'll say, I'll explain that here in a second, but this 5.3, one of the more stronger ones to strike Texas, I believe the largest one was around a 5.4 that just kicked up a short time ago down around Pecos, Texas. Remember that one? Okay, so these are not alien bases. These are not beautiful farmhouses. These are not little communities. This is in a massive, huge oil pumping operation out here. Wastewater injection disposal at its finest. And there's hundreds of them, probably more than hundreds. Uh, and this 5.3 centered right in the middle of it all. Uh, wastewater ponds out here, the whole process. I'm not going to go through it all. Uh, check it out. There's a lot of videos that cover this a relation to these oil pumping operations and earthquakes. Uh, it's a fact. 100%. There's no 50-50 chance of earthquakes happening uh, just on their own. Uh, this is directly related to the uh, wastewater disposal and these oil pumping operations out here. That's, a, that's just a fact. That's the facts, ma'am. And 5.3, if you are out in Texas around the Midland area, let me know what you felt. Uh, more than likely, these quakes, these type of quakes here, tend to just be a pretty good jolt. Uh, with the strain that's going on almost consistently uh, around the North American plate. You make these uh, weak spots in the area. Uh, you're kind of messing with Mother Nature down there. Uh, these earthquakes are only going to get stronger. Okay, so some reports coming in right now uh, from the Midland area. Looks like just some light shaking uh, being reported around the epicenter. Notice the blue sometime uh, a little bit up into the green possibly. So maybe some moderate shaking being reported the did you fill it responses coming in now 16 of course but, uh, from Midland area of Texas and um, no doubt this will come in a much much uh, higher in the did you fill it report so all right folks I will be back a little bit later on with a complete update for now just wanted to get this uh, update out this earthquake out 5.3 now it may get upgraded just looking at this signature here I showed up at Mount St. Helens too that's a that's the uh, the reading maybe picked up there at Yellowstone. So these are not being felt at Yellowstone or Washington or California, but uh, just the seismic waves picking that up pretty nicely from that 5.3. We'll be back here a little bit later on tonight, folks, with a complete update. Till then, stay safe out there in, in the earthquake country of Texas, wherever you got these uh, wastewater disposal wells, oil pumping operations, fracking operations. You can expect earthquakes to continue uh, for some time. Take care, folks.